Hey guys, so you've been asking how I made this object float on water. Super easy, and I'm gonna show you exactly how in this video. If you're wondering how I created this mighty ocean, don't worry, I've got you covered. I've linked a three minute quick tutorial in the description, or you can click the link on the screen to create your own ocean and follow along. All right, let's jump in. First, open the ocean file we made in the previous tutorial. Now, we'll need our floating object. For this, I'm using this safety tube I modeled earlier. But before we get to that, we're going to add one important thing, a plane. This plane will be key to making the floating magic happen. In edit mode, select the plane and subdivide it, like a lot. I'm going with 50 subdivisions, but even 25 will work fine. Press A to select everything and under the object data properties, create a new vertex group. Name it whatever you want, then click assign to assign your selection to the group. Next, in object mode, select the plane and slap on a shrink wrap modifier. Use the eyedropper to choose the ocean as the target object. Now grab your floating object, my safety tube, and head over to the constraints tab. Here, we're gonna add two constraints. First, add a copy location constraint. Use the eyedropper to set the plane as the target and don't forget to choose the vertex group we created. Then add a copy rotation constraint. And again, set the plane as the target and choose that vertex group. Boom, done. Now hit play and watch your object magically float on the water. But wait, there's one last thing. We need to hide the plane from the final render. Easy fix. Go to the outliner, click the little eye icon next to the plane to hide it from the viewport, and click the camera icon to hide it from the render. Now, render out your animation, sit back, and enjoy your floating object. And that's it guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.